Good day everyone, I'm Andrea Machina, second year college of Visaya State University, taking a Bachelor of Physical Education. For today's lesson, we will going to talk about Lesson 3.1, Philippine Costume. Before we start, I have here two motivational questions. First, what are the different Philippine costumes? Do you have any idea or naabang may nasabtan or namin hibawaan na gunsa mga different na Philippine costume? Okay, then what are the meaning of each costume? So, we will discuss it to get the answer. The different types of Philippine costume. First, we have the Barot Saya. Barot Saya is... Um, it is a national dress of the Philippines and combines elements from both the pre-colonial native Filipino and colonial Spanish clothing styles. It traditionally consists of four parts. First is a blouse, baro or camesa. It is the upper part of the costume. Then a long skirt or saya or palda. Kana siya ang sa ubos ang skirt. Long uh, taas nga saya or taas nga saya. A kerchief worn over the shoulders or the alampay. As you can see on the picture na ay alampay nga gisuot sa upper or sa iyahang gisapaw sa blouse or sa baro. Then, um, and a short rectangular cloth worn over the skirt or the tapis or the patadyong. Next, we have the Maria Clara. Maria Clara, or sometimes referred to as Filipiniana dress or traje de mestiza, it is a traditional dress worn by women in the Philippines. It is an aristocratic version of the barot saya. Smurag na siya similarity sa barot saya pero nasad sila differences. Um, it takes its name from Maria Clara, the mestiza protagonist of the novel Noli Mitanghere, pin by, by Jose Rizal. It is traditionally made out of piña, the same material used for Barong Tagalog. Next is the Barong Tagalog. The Barong Tagalog, or more commonly known simply as Barong, is an embroidered long sleeve formal shirt for men and a national dress of the Philippines. Barong Tagalog combines elements from both the pre-colonial native Filipino and colonial Spanish clothing styles. Barong Tagalog, it is traditionally made with sheer textile or nipis, woven from piña or abaca. Although in modern times, cheaper materials like silk, oramic or polyester are also used. It is used in special location in the Philippines. Next, we have the Traje de Mestiza. The Traje de Mestiza was in the fact that Maria Clara trimmed into a shapely modernity with detailed embroidered skirt. The camisa became a clingy bodice with delicate oversized lace bell-shaped sleeve. The saya became slimmer that burst out at the hem into a flare and acquired a train. Saya de cola, skirt with a tail, it is leading to the new look. As you can see, more like modern, na modern, na modern style siya gamay. Like sa Maria Clara, mas um, slimmer ang iyahang skirt. Next, we have the balintawak. The balintawak is a traditional Filipino costume that has a shortened skirt with puffy butterfly short sleeves, plaid textile, and low-cut bodies, and at, at times plenty of or, uh, ornate embroidery. It was worn during picnics and other joints into the countryside. Next, we have the terno. The Filipino terno allu alludes to the matching of the blouse and skirt. Join at the waist to form a one-piece creation with both bodies and skirt made of the same material. The turn as we know it, uh, as we know it today, evolved from an ensemble called barot saya, blouse and skirt. 
transformed into Maria Clara, which in turn was metamorphosed in the Trage de Mestiza. Next, we have the camisa. It is the um, short, colorless, upper part of waist length blouse of the Filipino terno. Some were elaborated, embroidered on the edges or all over, usually made of flimsy material, pinya, juicy, abaca, sinamay, or ringi, can, kanyamaso, an import from Europe. And lately, nylon, off-white or cream in color. Mana siya ang kamesa. Next, we have the kimona. We're familiar with this. Uh, Mani siyang pamigamitin sa, ano, sa high sa mga, sa mga fakdal sa events sa school, sa so, mga graduation niya, fakdal sa ang, ang gam, fakdal sa ang sayawon man siya. Kimuna, short and loose woman's blouse with extended sleeves worn on top of a long saya. Mani siya ang partner sa saya o sa mga fakdal sa fakdal sa mga sayaw-sayaw. Next, we have the serpentina. Serpentina is a skirt characterized by a straight cell hoop from the waist to somewhere around the knees where it was cut in serpentine or snake line. Fashion and to which was then attached a wide semicircular bottom panel of the same material cut in bias. Mga siya ang serpentina. Next, we have the alampay. It's a Filipino lace-like embroidered neck, scarf, or shawl worn around the shoulders over the camisa or the blouse. They were square-shaped and were folded in half into a triangular when worn. As you can see sa picture, mana siya ang alampay. Next, we have here the Ilocano peasant costume. The top or the baro. Loose blouse, three-fourth bell sleeves with little or no design or edges, white cotton or abaca. The skirt or the saya is pleated tall less skirt, ankle length, choice of plain, stripe or floral designs in any color combination. Over skirt or the tapis, any dark or black rectangular cotton wrapped around the waist and gathered on the left side, reaching below the knee. Mana siya ang ilahang, um, man ang Ilocano peasant costume, as you can see in the picture. Next, we have the Taosub costume. The native attire of a Taosub consists of bajo or bajo lapi or the upper and kupot or pants for the boys. For the girls, top. They wore batawe and sablay for formal occasions and sambra and supa-supa for daily use. The pants for the girls are called sawal, which has different designs that would fit the top. Next is the subanun costume, the top or the baho. Fairly long black skirt, um, shirt rather, fairly long black shirt reaching the upper thigh, moderately Tight, long sleeves, small standing collar, front open, opening, showing red linens. The pants or the sawal is moderately loose long pants with draw strings. A short sarong or malong wrap around the waist reaching down the knees to keep pants in place. The turban or the tubao or, tuba, or tubao, a rectangular checkered headkerchief. Predominantly maroon or red, folded in triangle and tied around the head with the tip in front. As you can see, na ay gibutanga headkerchief sa ilahang ulo. Mona siya ang turban or the tubao. Mona ang costume sa subanan, subanun costume. And those are the different Philippine costumes. Thank you for listening.